Hi gents, today we'll talk about melting your gold or to be more specific about getting yourself electrical melting furnace or if you're just thinking about getting it. I'm really bad when it comes to this kind of videos, I mean recording the screen and just narrating. For a simple matter of fact, English is not my first language, but I will try my best just because knowledge not shared is lost. For whatever reason, some people are afraid of using torches. Um, well, I don't know why. Maybe gas is expensive to them, or they are simply afraid of losing some gold. All I can say here, practice makes perfect. So, you just have to practice, that's it. Right, let's go back to electrical melting furnace, and let's have a look what the eBay has to offer. So, here we have some different bits and pieces. And um, now you can see the cheapest electrical melting furnace is coming from United Kingdom. Let's have a closer look. Right, the very first thing you're looking for is a melting temperature. And here where the fun starts. Looking at the item description, you will see two different numbers. 1120 degrees Celsius. And um, just 1100 degrees. Even the difference is 20 degrees, but still only one number can be right. What it tells me, seller is just making up numbers. Speaking about 1100 degrees, you may think it is enough to melt gold, uh, because when you look at Wiki, it says gold melting temperature is 1064 degrees Celsius. But there are a few factors to consider. 1064 degrees Celsius is a melting temperature to melt just the pure gold and nothing else. If, if you have to melt gold alloy containing palladium or nickel, let's say white gold scrap, its melting temperature will be times more higher. Same it goes to gold powder, contaminated with some other elements, let's say gold powder you may have after first precipitation. Another important factor to consider is how powerful is your furnace. For example, candle burning temperature is 1400 degrees Celsius. But can you melt gold using a candle? Well, I do not think so. The trouble is, heat from candle, it will dispense everywhere. And because it's not powerful, what I mean by saying not powerful, it means not a burning temperature, but how much heat it can generate for a certain period of time. Why power is important? It is important because you will have heat losses on every system on Earth. That's why when it comes to gold melting, both furnace temperature and power must be in excess. Let's have a look how powerful this particular furnace is. And um, as you can see, it's just 600 watts. And for now, let's compare to normal portable kitchen hot plate. As you can see, it gives 2000 watts. So, uh, this particular furnace uh, looks like a joke to me. I'm not saying you won't be able to melt gold. It all depends how pure is your gold and um, on quality of a furnace. As you can see, there are more powerful furnaces around also. Um, like this one. And uh, it is 1900 watts. But even with the best electrical furnaces, all you have is just a chance. Here I'm speaking not just from my own experience, uh, but I have a few friends of mine who used them. Another thing, this kind of furnaces, they will not last forever. In fact, nothing will. Sooner or later, its heating element, the coil, it will burn out and you will have to replace it. 
So then you have to buy a new coil, replace it, and uh, if this is an easy fix or not, is a big question on its own. Will it last for one month or for two months or maybe for two years? It all depends how often you use it and on quality of your furnace. Remember, you will always get what you pay for. And uh, pretty much that's it. It's all I wanted to say. In my next video, I will show you how to melt gold in a convenient way without using a torch and not using electrical furnace also. I hope you will find it useful and thanks for watching.